Welcome to Carlton's Math Corner. Today we're going to be talking about powers and exponents. To begin, just something to put a smile on your face. And at this time I would take out your math journal as well as your vocabulary packet. Today we are going to be writing powers as products of the same factor. And to begin, we have some vocabulary terms, and these are important ones to record in your vocab packet. We're going to start off with powers, and powers are made up of two important numbers. The first number is called the base, and the base I like to think of as a superhero. It is the one that multiplies out, and it's got all the power. Okay, um, we refer to it as a factor because it is within a multiplication problem. So there's the soup base right here, but then there's this little number, it's called the exponent. And it's, it is very important because it is kind of like the superhero sidekick. It is the one, it's the number that tells the base how many times to multiply out. So for instance, this 3 tells the 6 you are going to multiply out 3 times. 6 times 6 times 6. Okay. Now since we're working with multiplication, um, we need to know that an answer to a multiplication problem is called a product. And the numbers that we multiply together are called factors. Okay. Now, we are going to start off with a problem, and we need to have a little background. First of all, like scientists, researchers, um, you know, biologists, all use very small numbers and very large numbers. And in order for them to simplify writing out these numbers, they use powers. and so for instance, if they're studying, if they're looking under a microscope at cells and they're looking at maybe bacteria and they're trying to figure out how fast is this cell doubling every hour, um, they may use a power to, to represent that number so that they don't have to write, you know, a really large, especially if it's multiplying really quick, you know, the number could get really large fast. And so in, instead of them writing out the number over and over and over again, they can shorten, simplify it, and they can write it as a power. For instance, this cell uh, doubles, and I'm going to highlight this, it says it doubles every hour. So if you start with one cell, at the end of one hour, you have two cells. At the end of two hours, you will have four cells. And at the end of three hours, uh, eight cells, and so on and so forth. It just keeps going. And it says, write the product of factors after seven hours. Well, we want to always ask ourselves, you know, how are these numbers related? Um, first of all, we are talking about hours. So first hour, we have two two hours we have four and we notice that the numbers are doubling the cells so it went from two then two doubled to four then four doubled to eight and so we always want to know how are the numbers relating to each other so the hours are going up by one one hour two hours three hours but the cells are doubling right and so now that we know that we also want to know what in the problem, like what are they asking us to do or what are they asking us to find? And in this case, it states right at the end, they want us to write the, the product of factors after seven hours, okay? And so let's talk about this. If I have, let's say after one hour, so we'll, we're gonna put our number or put our hours like this and then we're going to show that we get two cells for the first hour 
eights. Okay, so it doubles every time, so I'm going to use two to represent doubling. And so I'm going to show it as two to the first is two cells for the first hour, two. Then two hours represents two times two, which is four. Then three hours is two times two times two. It's doubling every hour, so double, double, double. So now we have eight, and so on and so forth. And if you look at this and make some observations, what would two to the seventh be then? After seven hours, what would it look like? If you thought this, you are absolutely right. Two times two times two times two times two times two times two. Times two. So we need it. So this, this little exponent told the base, you're going to multiply yourself out seven times. Okay. Now let's look at another problem. It says write each power as a product of the same factor. So I have seven to the fifth. And from the observations you've made before, from our you know problem before, and then this problem now, what would this look like? And what I mean is, I guess I stated it wrong. If you notice, what do you notice, I should say? Not what does it look like, because it actually shows you what it looks like, but what do you notice? Could you apply it to 8 to the 3rd and 9 to the 4th? Like, what would those look like if I wrote out the product of the same factors? Okay, so 8 to the 3rd should look like this. You're right, 8 times 8 times 8. And 9 to the 4th, 9 times 9 times 9 times 9. How about these three problems? Now notice the, the instructions are stated a little bit different. These back here, this instruction said write each power as product of the same factor. This one says write the expressions as a product of factors. Now expressions, or we refer to them as numerical expressions, they are basically just math sentence. This right here is like a math sentence. It's telling us they want to take a they want us to take five to the seventh power. And so they want us to write this out as product of factors. Okay, so five to the seventh. What would you get? Ten to the third, eight to the second. Yeah, five to the seventh. Should I have this? 10 to the third. And lastly, 8 to the second. Perfect. Do you notice none of these have answers at the end? Because in the, in the actual problem, it does not ask us to find the answer. It only asks us to write out the product of factors. So it actually wants us to list all the factors in this pro in this power. Okay. And so that's why we're just listing them. We are not finding the answer. What I would like for you to do tomorrow is um, complete these ticket problems. And it says write the following expressions as product of factors. Thank you so much for joining me at Carlton's Math Corner. And I look forward to meeting with you again to learn some more targets.